Dean, a difficult evening tonight. Your thoughts? Um, the second penalty is definitely not a penalty. The first one is, and we felt we had a penalty as well. A game of about both, both boxes. Um, Norwood sort of bought the first penalty, but he brings you that class and style, and he's probably the difference in the game. And um, we had several chances, clear chances. Uh, I think we had the first three clear chances of the game. We never took them, and then um, obviously they get a penalty. Uh, sort of a little bit against rural play. The winds obviously killed the game as well. Um, so it's been a sticky night with the weather, but just naive from us. And uh, you can sort of see our youth when you come up against such an experienced size like Alden. As a manager, it must be frustrating when we create the amount of chances that we do when we end up losing 2-0 to two penalties tonight. Yeah, obviously, yeah. yeah. We so many clear chances. Uh, but that comes down to the quality. The quality of the player. We put Norwood in their team, and we probably win 4-0. Um, that's the truth. Um, no disrespect to air players. Um, Steady's had a glorious chance when he's come on, free header. Nicky's obviously skipped inside, it's been blocked, it's come back out, it's been blocked again, so good defending by them. I'm just really, I suppose, frustrated really, because at 1 0, it's a tight game, um, and if anything, we would have better side. I had the better chances, we didn't, couldn't get a fluent style going because of the, because of the weather, um, but I had the better chances, the clearer chances, and then. Um, the refs just gave them a penalty. I've just watched the back. It's just absolutely crazy. If that's a penalty, we literally will be having 10 penalties every game. Um, so he's been kidded by Fond up. And um, I thought the referee tonight, his performance was uh, way below the standard. Uh, I even talked they, they, they were the same on their bench as well. Um, and even for the, the incident for the fourth penalty, we had a tr it was their throw in. It was uh, Coker and Sanje, uh, Sadchev went for the ball and Coker stung them with the ball. It should have been their throw-in. And from that phase, they've gone and scored and they've launched it in the box. They got the throw-in. So, look, it is what it is. I'm not going to blame the referee. Um, our lack of quality in front of the goals cost us tonight. You mentioned the conditions. How much of a play do you think that had today, as well as arriving late to the stadium? Yeah, listen, it's been a disastrous day. Um, it's been horrendous, really. It's been a long, long journey. We won't get back now until stupid o'clock. Um, so look, it just, there is it's stuff out of our control. Really, there's nothing we can do about it. If there's, there's traffic, there's traffic. We left today. We left the hive at like 12 o'clock or something today, or whatever time it was. So it just is what it is. It's out of our control, um, and we got here late. That didn't help. But actually, like I said, I taught me some. Pritchard up two unbelievable chances, you know. And uh, apart from sort of them hitting the crossbar with a free kick and Norwood getting down the side and and, and uh, Josh making a good save, they didn't have any really clear, clear chances. So. But look, when you defend like they did, to be fair to them, they put their bodies on the line and defend like they did. And um, obviously, they can buy penalties and stuff like that the way they do. They've got smart players, they've got senior players, and it's something that we lack. I thought one positive for us was Josh Keeley. He made some fantastic saves in the game today. Yeah, I think he made one good save, uh, which was from the thing. I thought, I thought Pot Potsy was outstanding. I thought he was our best player by an absolute country mile. He played like a 20 year old today, Potsy. So he's mature, and I thought he played really, really well defensively. Um, and yeah, look, listen, these are the type of games you want to be on the right end of the results. So, um, uh, lack of experience, let's say, um, has probably cost us today. Real experience I'm talking about. I'm not talking about, like, I'm talking, look, if you look at the experience in their group and what they've got, they've just done the, the little basics better, made the blocks better and stuff like that. So, that's what happens. But you have to invest in that. We have to dust ourselves down now and we've got another long trip on Saturday to Gateshead. How's the next few days going to look yeah, for you in the group? Listen, get back, probably get back at four in the morning. Um, it'll be what it'll be. The boys will obviously do some recovery tomorrow. They'll do it at home, rec uh, record their Imras and then tours. They just recover again and get ready to go to Gateshead. This is this division, it's relentless. Uh, you, need a, you need strength and depth in the squad. Um, I think we're a tiny bit light at the minute. We've let some of it, some players go. That's sort of going forward, we're not really going to be in the plans. Um, we've sold a couple as well, which is good. So we've just got to get the right players into the building. We need to sign a couple of players. Um, I know who we want to sign, so it's just making them happen at this moment in time. So if we can do that, that'll give us strength and depth. We're going in now, to, it's going to be crazy. It's Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. Uh, we've got to rearrange Rochdale, we've got to rearrange Chesterfield. So it's a relentless division. And uh, now that'll be another tough, tough task up in Newcastle on Saturday. And just finally, supporters making the trip up today, they've experienced the same traffic issues as us on the way up. What's your message to them tonight? Yeah, unbelievable support. They were just here in front of us. They kept kept trying to drive us forward. Um, I don't think they should be. I don't think we should be disappointed with our performance. I thought our performance was good. Just really the end product. So if we had got that right tonight, we had enough chances really to win a couple of games. But uh, look, at the end of the day, um, the team that defended slightly better won the game. So we've got to give them a bit of credit. But I want to thank our supporters for coming up. It's tough. The weather's tough. Uh, the cost is tough. We want to thank them for the positive support. And hopefully we'll see them all again on Saturday. And we can give them three points. Dean, thank you for your time. Cheers,